Masterpiece Physics. On tonight's installment, we will be talking about force vectors, calories and weight loss, and the conservation of mechanical energy. To learn about force vectors, let's watch a person swim with constant velocity. Forces acting on this swimmer, swimming at constant velocity, are gravity pointing downwards, the force of buoyancy upwards, the force on the swimmer by water pointing in the positive direction, and the force of drag behind the swimmer. Because the swimmer is at the top, at the surface of the water, mg is equal to the force of buoyancy. And because the swimmer is moving at constant velocity, the force on the swimmer by the water will be equal to that of the force of drag. We can prove the swimmer is moving at constant velocity by adding the force vectors. If we start with gravity and then add the force of buoyancy, the two essentially cancel each other out. Then if we add the force of pull, and the force of drag, these forces cancel out, and therefore, the F net is equal to zero. There are 491 calories in one quarter pounder with cheese meal from McDonald's. Therefore, there is actually 491,000 calories in one meal. To solve this problem, we need a relatively simple equation, which is power is equal to work over time, which is equal to energy over time. Using some simple algebra, we can rearrange this so the time it takes to burn off the calories is equal to energy over power. The next step will be converting calories to joules. There are 4.19 joules per calorie. So if we do a unit conversion of 491,000 calories we find that there are 2.06 times 10 to the 6 joules This is where our equation comes into place. There are this, this many joules divided by 400 joules per second, which is the rate at which your body would consume calories, swimming very hard. We find that it would take 5,100 and 50 seconds to burn off this many calories. And if we convert seconds to minutes, we find that it would be 86 minutes of swimming vigorously to burn off the calories in one meal. Wow, that's a fast slide. 
But how fast was I going? Using the conservation of mechanical energy, we can find out exactly how fast I was going. Using the conservation of mechanical energy, we can find how fast the person will be going at the bottom of the slide. The first step is to draw a picture. We have already drawn the slide with height h and labeled the initial and final positions. The next step is marking a reference level, which in our drawing will be at height of zero. The next step is to fill in what we know. We know that the height of the slide is 3.1 meters. Therefore, the height initial will be 3.1 meters as well. We know that the person has, is not moving at the initial point. Therefore, their velocity initial will be zero. At the final position, because we mark the reference line at zero, the height final will be zero as well. And we're solving for the velocity at the final position. The conservation of mechanical energy states that the energy initial will be equal to the energy final. This can be expanded to say the kinetic energy initial plus gravitational, gravitational potential energy initial will be equal to the kinetic energy final plus gravitational potential energy final. Based on our drawing, we know that at the beginning, the person is not moving, therefore has no kinetic energy. And at the end, the person's height is zero, therefore their gravitational potential energy will be zero as well. We can cross those two off. Gravitational potential energy is m g h initial, which will be equal to kinetic en energy final, which will be one half m v squared final. To finish this problem is now just simple algebra. The mass cancels out. You can multiply each side by 2. This becomes 1. You multiply the whole side by 2. And then you square root each side. Therefore, v final is equal to the square, square root of 2g h initial. The final step is just to plug in the numbers. When you do that, v final will be equal to the square root of 2 times g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared, multiplied by the height of the slide, which was 3.1 meters. And when you plug this into your calculator, you'll find that V final is equal to 7.8 meters per second.